Hello everyone, I am Piyu Tejaswini Khare, a fourth year aerospace engineering student who is currently doing her internship and right now I have not completed my fourth year, I have just entered into my fourth year and recently like in my last semester I have been making videos about these 30 day mini vlog series and all the reality checks that you need before you enter into this field. So this video is also about those same things like reality versus expectations kind of thing. So yeah, I know that uh, before you come to this field, you will be getting many questions, many doubts, many uh, like, you know, uh, things from people to listen that is course mein ye hota hai, wo hota hai and all those things. I've also dropped the shots if you want to see that what is what exactly is aerospace engineering so that you can uh, see it well and understand what it actually is because it is more than just flying rockets or just flying aircrafts. So in this video, I will be telling you that. So now you can grab your chai, popcorn, whatever you want, because we need to talk and I need to tell you the reality being a senior of yours. So there are a few of the things that have been told to me by my coming juniors, not juniors exactly, but like coming juniors that uh, like, you know, we have been listening this, that is it true? Is it true or not? Like, you know, all those things. So I thought why not sit down and tell everyone about this because I know this field is really emerging and many people, many students who are in their 10th, 11th, 12th or maybe in their 9th and very small also want to know what exactly is it to study this field. So the first expectation that people have from this and but to say students have from this is that uh, as soon as you enter into this field, into your college, you will be designing rockets. I know you will be, but not straightforward. You will come and just start designing anything of rocket. No, you literally have to spend weeks understanding what is aerodynamics, how does it flies, how does like you know the air moves around that. You will be sitting with your laptops, having uh, what do we say, softwares installed in that, and then you will be trying to debug, bug, and doing all those things on your laptop. So I know it sounds fancy that designing rockets, at the end of the day, the goal is to, uh, to design the rocket, but the procedure, in this procedure, we learn many equations. Honestly, when I came to the college, I also thought that this would be the scene, that Atehi, I will be working on rockets, satellites, UV, drones, but it is a, uh, what do we say? It's a process that we have to follow before designing all those things. Because we have to understand materials kya used hote hai, how does the air flow works around that, what exactly goes on the software working in those uh, like simulations and everything. And maybe by the end of your fourth year or like, you know, after that you will be working in this or maybe in between. But will you just make and launch the rocket no, you won't. You will do mini projects wherein you will be trying and testing wale projects hote hai. Uske na, you will be doing that. I also did a project uh, in which we were not launching a rocket exactly, but we made the fuel that is the solid rocket propellant. Uh, so like that was the that was a project that we made. So I guess these are the few small steps that you have to go above and then you can do this because in this engineering course and that is particularly I am focusing here on you can't just come and just launch a rocket because you have to study so many things around that so this is what the first expectation of yours that I have busted ki nahi aate hi rocket nahi udaoge aate hi satellite nahi uh, bana ke bhej doge aate hi nahi karoge you will be learning things because this is a course and this is a design in such a way that you have subjects in first semester, second semester, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And then you will be like, you know, uh, filled with knowledge on how to do, what to do, why not to do, what not to do. And like, you know, all these questions. And I feel that's a slow start, but that is very important to build your foundation because you just can't build uh, a, because you just can't build a rocket if you don't know how do they actually work. What are the phenomena involved in them, right? And once you get to understand how this phenomena works, why does that jet make that particular sound? Why does it make sound? You will be amazed by this field that this field has so much to offer. So like this is a step-by-step -step procedure which will lead you to that big rocket launch. 
the second expectation that uh, students have from this before coming here is like what fancy subjects you will be getting like optical mechanics space mechanics uh, aerodynamics computation fluid dynamics thermodynamics aircraft structure and this and that i know this all sounds amazing when i get to hear all these subjects before my course start i also get super excited but what lies in, inside that you have to study so many equations you have to understand what is mac number you have to give your you have to literally put an all nighter just to understand that one equation you have to literally understand how ailerons work how elevators work how does that aircraft how does that aircraft takes a right turn a left turn what all the phenomena are involved the materials that are used like you know there are many things so even if the subject sounds very easy or maybe flattering is the right word very flattering it has so much to offer to just overwhelm you so when you start this journey where like you know you will be getting subjects that this subject this subject you will be studying in this semester you have to be very calm with the subject do not start expecting that you will be like you know or doing all the advanced thing very quickly learn the procedure step by step because maze hi wahi par lie karte hain you know like you keep on solving that equation and then you realize okay that is the reason this thing makes itna sound Now, for example, fluid mechanics. It sounds so fancy, but when you will understand how that air flow around that flat plate and what are all the phenomena involved, your mind will be really blown. And if I start telling you what are about what all things are involved in the compressible flows and the cures, let me not get to it. I don't want to scare you. but these are the same topics that will make you understand the launch of the plane the flying space shuttle and every air phenomena that you can see because now right now if i see a plane flying and taking a right turn left turn like you know doing all those things the aerobatics that we say my mind knows ki ye kyun ho raha hai like why does this happen and i can explain a a person and i can explain a person that why does this happen this and that and i know no one wants to go deep into that because everyone just loves seeing the plane flying but you will be getting to know the equations involved the software involved i like every small detail and by the time your semester ends or preferably if i have to say that by the time you will come in your first second year and you will go through all these planes and things i want to tell you that you can consider the plane as your good friend and in this course you will be understanding in and out and each and every layer of the subject by doing everything in all like you just won't know the person in all you will be knowing like the in and out how we say we are good friends you will be the good friend to your rockets to your satellites to your drones and in whichever interest you have right now let's talk about the biggest myth that i have and my relatives have your relatives will have everyone around has who thinks of this because um, it is genuine myth because i also had it you will also have it that studying aerospace engineering will make you a pilot i know that sounds crazy but no it does not makes you a pilot and i know you might not have this question but your family your friends who are not interested or maybe who do not want to come to this field might think that if you do aerospace engineering acha to aerospace engineering mein pilot bante hain kya this is a very prominent question that i have been getting my parents have been getting so i thought this is something that i should address and tell you guys also so the truth is that aerospace engineers they do not fly planes if they want to they have separate courses like cpl etc but they don't uh, like you know directly go and just fly airplanes they basically understand what are the forces forces involved in working of that aircraft how how does it fly right how does it fly left why do it uh, like you know it gives you stall why does this crash happens and like you know everything you will be basically studying deep into it you won't be taking an aircraft and just shh, no that's not the reality and you can make this very clear to your parents and your relatives as well as that everyone and i know this might uh, like you know break some hearts that i thought uh, aerospace engineering karne se pilot wide knowledge bhi aayegi you will get the knowledge of what a pilot thinks what a pilot has to do 
but you won't be getting a plane in your hand until unless you do some uh, you know some specific courses like cpl or you go for indian air force to become a fighter pilot or you get a certified train uh, from you get a certificate from dgca right that is what the expectation and the reality is you have to study you don't have to just fly the plane and go in your first semester right and also the procedure of applying internships by third year in the starting uh, i feel is film jo bhi aata hai they have this um, like you know dream or you can say like you know they have this expectation that by third year hum sabko uh, wahan par internship milegi isro nasa of course milti hai bahut logo ko milti hai but for that you have to maintain a good cgpa you have to like you know constantly uh, email them and you have to apply so many times that it will literally test your patience uh, and then you can you know go forward uh, go forward with your internships also there are much more things than isro and nasa there are many companies which are you know like uh, growing up in india which you can refer to it's just about how you uh, how you go and how you search for that and how you do all those things but like after waiting for so many time when you get a internship and you start working in this field like right now i'm in the internship and i don't think so i can uh, like you know disclose the name but theek hai because it's a government internship but still when i go there i feel like you know there are instruments there are things that they are working on and this field is ha- and this field has so many things to offer like this field is so vast and it has so many things to offer that even if i feel i know everything i do not know everything i have maybe 50% maybe 20% knowledge because there is so much things to understand if i if you know about one system of communication there will be 10 other lying and saying hi we're in line but that is I, all of these things when i look at, look at those uh, like you know systems and those simulators when you look behind that you know this is my work where you find all the wires you find how the software works how do you have to maintain this this and, and the uh, i would say harsh reality or the proper reality check is that you will get tired you will uh, question your choices maybe in your first semester and your second third fourth but you definitely will or you might feel like you know you want to give up you don't want to study those equations and all those things but let me tell you one thing if you start studying those and if you come to this field with open hands this field has lot of like literally so much to offer you and uh, you know we say that uh, manifest it to the universe because universe is not on a budget same way this field is not on a budget because abhi to iski budget and planning start hui hai like right now it's uh, it is you know it is going at its peak like abhi to bar raise hona shuru hua hai so like there is so many things to offer and right now you might be thinking by seeing an aircraft that wow it's so beautiful i will be studying about this and everything but after 2 years or maybe after 3 years after studying this course you will look up to the sky and you will know ki kaun sa engine use hua hai what are the phenomena involved like you know kitni engineering uske piche lagi hui us ek aircraft ko take off karwane mein and after this when you look at an aircraft when you will go for your internships and you will uh, like you know actually fly a plane after understanding all these things you will know that those crazy nighters were all worth it you will know that you know your equations learning capacity jitni raatein iske andar nikali hai will all be worth it once you start studying it and before ending this video i would like to tell you that yes aerospace engineering is hard it is tough it is not glamorous it is not something that you see in movies it's real science and you have to grind yourself so much and you have to put the real effort that is required in this field but if you love the sky you love satellites rockets and everything all these things will be worth it because you will be enjoying the process and you won't be studying it just for the sake of studying and you may not launch a rocket as soon as you come to your college but maybe by the end of your graduation year who knows and so if you are thinking to do aerospace engineering my final verdict would be that do it with passion do it with pride do it 
not for the hype that is there because it sounds great because i know it sounds great do it because you want to build the future do it because you want to make your country proud do it because you love planes do it because of the love the passion that you have after seeing all these small creatures up above the world so high and if you're already into it you've got this and i'm sure you will be doing great once you enter into your college and if you found this video helpful i will be dropping all those video and giving you one to one interaction on what the reality is because i feel on the internet there are so many videos but those videos are so saturated with the google information and everything because many of those people are not aerospace engineers or they might have not done this uh, thing and they haven't enjoyed the process but me as a student i will tell you everything that you need to know so you can subscribe and like for more aerospace content and you can tell me in the comment box that which of your expectation turned into a reality check by me i'll see you guys in the next video till then enjoy the space enjoy the sky until then i wish you all the best bye bye